2015, astronomers turned their attention to a star nearly 1,500 light-years away. Known officially as KIC 8462852, but now famously called Tabby's Star. It was doing something no other star had ever been seen to do. It was dimming, but not in the regular predictable way a planet passing in front would cause. Its light would dip erratically by massive amounts, sometimes blocking over 20% of the star's light and for irregular periods. No natural phenomenon seemed to fit. It was too strange, too chaotic. And so a mind-bending hypothesis was born. What if we were seeing an alien megastructure, a swarm of colossal constructs, perhaps a Dyson sphere in the process of being built, blocking its star's light as it orbited? If this hypothesis were true, the civilization responsible would be a formidable Type II on the Kardashev scale they would be in the process of caging their own star. For such a civilization would interstellar travel be possible? The answer is an unequivocal yes, the energy required to send massive fleets between the stars, perhaps in generation ships or even through the speculative physics of warp drives, would be a trivial expense for a society that commands the power of an entire sun. Energy is the ultimate key to unlocking the cosmos, and a Type II civilization holds that key. While the mystery of Tabby's star has since been largely attributed to a massive, uneven ring of cosmic dust, the idea it sparked remains. It gave us a fleeting glimpse of what true technological mastery could look like. And it forces us to look back at our own future. As we inch our way toward becoming a Type I, our own dreams of interstellar travel become more tangible. Our nearest stellar neighbor, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, lies just over four light years away. To our current technology, it is an impossibly distant shore, a journey of tens of thousands of years. But for a future Type I humanity, it could be a destination. A civilization that has mastered fusion power could build ships capable of crossing that void in a single lifetime. A society that commands the full light of our sun could build vast laser arrays to push light sails to a significant fraction of the speed of light. The journey to Proxima Centauri will not be made by us, but by our descendants. A humanity that has graduated from Type Zero, a people who have completed the first and perhaps most difficult step on the Kardashev scale. The scale, then, is more than just a way to rank hypothetical aliens. It is a roadmap, a story of survival and growth. It is the story of our own potential future, written in the universal language of energy. It is a ladder, reaching from the cradle of our planet to the heart of our star and beyond, into the magnificent silent darkness of the galaxy.